what's up guys it's Lawrence thanks for stopping by my channel if you like what you see please like comment share and subscribe thanks Obs obscure take two observing obscure observances taking a look at the informal holidays for today February 20th here we go we got looking at this uh, let's see clean out your bookcase day uh, I have uh, I've had a couple of bookcases in my day, and I'll say that uh, cleaning them out is uh, not too tough. But I'll say this, I'll give you a little insight here about the blind, that a Braille textbook is much bigger than, well, actually, no, I take that back. It's, a, it's more expensive to make a Braille textbook than it is a print textbook. And one print textbook for everybody else is anywhere from... 10 to 20 to even 50, 60 volumes of one book. And that's Braille, ladies and gentlemen. And they cost a pretty penny. They cost about, I think, $20,000, I think. I'm not sure what it is nowadays, but I remember back in the day, that's how much they cost. And that's with, again, like one science book for you, for me, it would be like 56 Braille books. <laughs> so imagine trying to lug those things around from school back to home. All right. It's Fat Thursday for the people who are in Europe, mainly in Poland, and they eat uh, a lot of foods before uh, a lot of fattening foods, a lot of sweet foods before uh, you know, but before Fat Tuesday kicks in, and then Lent Lent kicks in. Introduce a girl to Engineering Day, yes, because, ladies and gentlemen, as much as we have male engineers, we also need female engineers as well, too, because girls have dreams, too, of becoming scientists or whatever they want to become. Uh, let's see. National Cherry Pie Day. For anybody who enjoys cherry pie, and all I can think of is that song by Warren, She's my cherry pie. Put a smile on your face, ten miles wide. Looks so good, make a grown man cry. Sweet cherry pie. Sorry, it wasn't exactly that quick. I, I don't know. For, for some reason, I just blanked out on the next part of the thing, and then I got it. National Day of Solidarity with Muslim, uh, Muslim, Arab, and Asian... Wait, let me read that again. National Day of Solidarity with Muslim, Arab, and South Asian immigrants. Yes. We need solidarity for them. If they are here legally... Legally, ladies and gentlemen, that is the way you do it. Legally. That's all I'm going to say about that. National Handcuff Day in 1912. A uh, gentleman by the name of George A. C uh, let me look at George A. Carney. He developed the first uh, handcuff that fits pretty much well any size. Well, not any size. I mean, he, he made them smaller because back in the day... They were much bigger, and they, only, they were only one size. National Muffin Day. For those of you who enjoy muffins out there, as Jim Gaffigan described it, a muffin is a bald cupcake. <laughs> National Student Volunteer Day. So any students out there, uh, go out and volunteer in your community, volunteer at your local school, volunteer wherever. Help out. Nord Northern Hemisphere Hootie Hoo Day, in which... About a month before spring, they celebrate that winter's on its way out and spring is coming in. And the Southern Hemisphere celebrates it on August 22nd. The Great American Spit Out, warning everybody about the harmful effects of smokeless tobacco. And there's World Day of Social Justice. All I can pretty much say is that calendars are gender neutral. So... There you go. And uh, one, other, one other day here, love your pet day. I'm an animal lover. I grew up with pets. I had a cat named Polly. Polly Wooly Doodle all the day. Who I don't have a picture of, unfortunately. But I also grew up with a well, what's known as a seeing eye puppy. Now, a seeing eye puppy is a dog that is at a school where dogs are trained to become seeing eye dogs for the blind. And the way it works is they have a program 
where what they do is they pick out a puppy and they make it live with a family who has somebody who is blind. And so the dog is able to get used to what it's like dealing with somebody who is blind. And we had one who was a black lab named Shadow. And oddly enough, I think, uh, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, tomorrow marks the 22, well, yeah, the 22 year anniversary is to when we got her. And, uh, she was a great dog and, uh, 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 stayed with us for a year and uh, about a month, month and a half, I'd say. And a year later when we saw her, she remembered me and she gave me a bunch of kisses and stuff like that. And uh, then we parted ways and then we got a call saying that the current owner couldn't take care of her anymore. So they were wondering, would you like the dog back? We're like, yeah, sure. We'll take her back. Not a problem. We took her back and she went to live with my sister. And then when my sister moved to Korea, the dog lived with us until, uh, until she passed on in 2013. I do not have a picture of her, but we also had another dog, a bass down named Freckles. Now, you've seen his picture before. You actually see his picture at the very beginning of all the videos I've been uploading lately. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll post his picture right here for you. Here you go. Here's a picture of the little fella. And he's sprawled out on a dog bed, by the way, that he hardly, if ever, used. And amazingly, his eyes were open because he slept a lot. But here's his picture. Here you go. <laughs> oh, there he is. He looks so cute. And I'll get into more detail about him later on, but he was a really good pup. And I'll get into detail a little bit later on. Not, not in this video, but coming down the line, there's going to be a video all about him. And we also had fish. We had a fish tank, and it was kind of strange because we would have these fish. Here's what we do. We'd buy these fish. We'd get a whole bunch of them. And not long after getting them, we'd find them up, dead. Oh, there's another one on its back. There's another one huddled by the little, uh, uh, huddled by the pump. He's dead. He's a goner. He's a goner. As a matter of fact, I'll never forget, I'll never forget the first time that we, uh, uh, when we moved, when we moved from New York to Florida, we traveled by van. And I don't forget, the day, <laughs> the day, the day that we left for Florida, the day we left for Florida, we, we did a little inventory check and we looked in the fish tank and we had a bunch of fish and all the fish except for one had died. And we named this fish Lucky because he was lucky to be alive. We look at the fish tank and Lucky is dead. Evidently, Lucky had moving anxiety or he just didn't want to go with us. So he just did his floating on the back trick. And so we had to flush him. <laughs> That's the main thing to do with a fish. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah. And then it got to the point where we eventually... We had a bunch of fish, and we would, again, we'd fill the fish tank up with them, and we'd feed them, and then they'd die. And, at, and by the time it was, well, after a while, we just stopped naming the fish. We were just like, all right, here you go, into the tank. And then a couple months later, up, oh, dead, flush, got to go. <laughs> and uh, the on this day in history, the only real thing that really sticks out with me is uh, the suicide of the great Hunter S. Thompson, a uh, phenomenal author. Check out the book, It's Better Than Sex. He talks about the 1992 campaign of Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush. And he's also famous for the book, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Great book. Gonzo journalism. He was the father of it, basically. He partied with the Hells Angels. And uh, he was a badass. He seemed like a real badass dude. All right, well... Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Lawrence Russell. Wait, just one more thing real quick. I want to say thank you to uh, Jose, uh, Jose Adovito Jr. He followed the blind guy on YouTube page. He didn't like the page yet, but he did follow it. So thank you, sir, for that. And I'm Lawrence Ross, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Lawrence. Well, that's the end of the video, but before I go, I want to thank you guys for checking out the content. If you like, you can check out my radio show every Friday evening at 7 p.m. on RazRadioLive.com. That's R-A-S RadioLive.com. RadioChaos.net. And in this case, it's Chaos with a K. K-A-O-S. 
RadioChaos.net or NoNameNetwork.net. It's called the LRWS, and check it out. We also have a store, Teespring.com, T-E-E, Spring.com, forward slash stores, forward slash LRWS. And if you want, you can check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash lross1987. Thanks for watching.